Okay. Hold on. Whoa. Hi. <laughs> Hi there, friends. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But hello. Uh, welcome back to another Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon episode. And we still got this freaking glare. It won't go away, no matter what I do. I'm, like, laying on the floor recording this. And that's actually pretty disgusting. I should get off the floor. <laughs> oh, no, what's happening? Huh? Samuel did it come today. Is he sick? Do we have to go get medicine? Maybe still a bit early. Is it? Is it really? I mean, it's... Oh, no, not sick. Definitely not sick. He went and got friends. You wouldn't believe it. They found Mr. Farfetch'd. Was he dead? Was he dead? Apparently, he was found unconscious near the shore of the lake. Yep, totally. Oh, no, he, he wasn't dead? Uh, <laughs> I'm so mean. I was just going to tell you to me, Ninja. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's let's go to the beach. Where is the beach? I don't know. Oh, there's the beach. Okay. That answers my question. He was on this beach. We pass through this like a million times a day. Well, we don't. We go through it like once a day, and then we just magically teleport back home. But, uh, <laughs> other than that, we, like, everyone else goes here like a million times a day, and they didn't notice him laying on the beach. Like, come on. What have you heard? At the least, it seems Mr. Firefish was not injured. He's up and moving and talking like, talking to everyone like normal. Oof. Well, thank goodness. What? You don't remember? That's right. I, I don't, I don't know if it's because of the fright, but I can't recall a thing. I was taken somewhere. Dark. And hell for some time. You said you couldn't recall a thing. This this counts as recalling things. <laughs> and there were these blue flames. Okay. The fuck was that? Ah! I, I still be, I'm still going with this Marowak that it's this Alolan Marowak theory just being revealed in this game. How far did he? Oh, no, hold, hold. I got this, I got this. How fortunate. Seems that like the poor fellow has been through quite the ordeal. Oh, no. I don't even want to imagine it. The blue flames! I, like, okay, if I get proved, proven wrong, and it's not a little in Marowak, I accept it. The blue flames? You don't really think it could be good ghosts? Then again, it could be like will o -Wisp or something. <laughs> what, ghosts? Is it really ghosts? Oh, no. I'm not afraid of any such fairy tales. Ridiculous. Totally not. No, no, everyone. I, I, wait, is this is this a guy or a girl? I'm so confused. This is like a uh, Ilama, except I know that it it's a guy. Wait, Ilama's a guy. Okay, I forgot what I'm saying. Sorry, I had stuff to do. Okay. I don't know your gender, so I'll give you something, uh, neutral, I guess. <laughs> I understand why all these mysterious happenings may have you feeling uneasy. But look at what we know. Mr. Farfetch is back among us and unharmed. The vice principal is also doing just fine, even if he is at home in his bed. There's no- there's been no real harm done to- Frag, I know! I'm sorry. That merits such an overreaction. That, that's true. But that doesn't mean that something terrible might not occur next time. Oh no! Looking negatively. Y'all look negative. See, look at me back there. I'm just hiding behind him. Can't even see me. I'm like all the way here. <laughs> Somewhere. Indeed. We should all be careful. Alright, we're all gonna be careful. It's just don't visit the school at night. For the time being. No one visits the school at night. What are we gonna do? Let's go visit the school at night. That'll be fun. Tell the sheriff about the plan when, we, when I see him with you. So everyone, back to your homes. Back to our homies. Why does it look so dark? What happened? What happened? This is not. This is not good. Yeah. All right, let's do things. There. There's no music. Like the volume is at full. There's no music. Oh, never mind. It's a real mystery. Well, of course it's mysterious. We're talking about ghosts, after all. Stop no dragon conversations back that way again. No! That's hilarious. 
I'm scared. No, no. <laughs> it's papyrus. <laughs> well, it's like, <laughs> you really are spineless. Well, I mean, it's kind of a ball of goo. So, it's like a sentient ball of goo. So, like, you can't exactly have a spine. It's a freaking slug. Yep. Ugh. You hide in your bed and you're shaking and too scared to sleep. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like laughing right now. I really wish you'd just leave it alone. No, I don't like ghosts. <laughs> don't take him seriously. He's just trying to get under your skin. Come on, Goomy, you cheer up too. It's a long awaited summer vacation. Let's try to have some fun, okay? Yeah, let's go have fun and see people and get dead. That's, that's fun. We will do stuff! <laughs> I'm just gonna yell at things. Sorry guys, I've watched Markiplier and, and now his insanity's rubbed off on me. I, I, I can't, I can't help it, I'm crazy now! Alright, shirt. <laughs> Driftload, you better die! I will lick all your frosting! All the frosting off your head! It will, it will be mine. <laughs> Connected! The super! Oh my god, I hate that! <laughs> no! It's Team Super! It's what it was meant to be, and you know it! <laughs> I'm just yelling at it. I'm yelling at it at this point. I need to get therapy. <laughs> and, and, by Winchester's introduction, I am now connected to Alakazam, the Viper, uh, uh, who's that one? Tyranitar and Charizard. Well, that's fine. Okay, stop falling. Do you like to exit dungeon now? Yeah, uh, wait. Fuck. <laughs> Gets me out! Yay. Wait, I earned a reward? From Kangaskhan? Where? Where do I go? I don't know where to go. Saving and continuing. Yep. <laughs> That's how you say words. Save completed. Gotta run all out here. Hey, Nuzleaf. Guess you're my adopted dad! <laughs> Just thought about that. Kind of my adopted dad now, which is weird. <laughs> my dad's a Nuzleaf! <laughs> we can fudge. <laughs> Let's get out of there again today. Hey! <laughs> Best call ever. Huh? Chum it? What's up? Pantrum does something to tell everybody. <laughs> Pantrum does? Yeah. So I'm going around now and telling everybody from class. I'm off to Gear Link's next, so I don't know why I'm the one that has to run all over, though. But I guess I can't complain if, you know, you, you don't have feet. You don't have feet. Okay? You have little stubs on your shell thing. You just waddle. How do you run? I guess I can't complain if you have a chance to meet with your- Oh. Dang. <laughs> did not see that yet. I did not see that coming. We're meeting up on the hill with the big tree. The better bees there later is- Laters, bro! <laughs> what well, what Pansham wants to talk about? Somehow we got a bad feeling. Guess we gotta at least go and do stuff. Whee! This is... This gonna be fun. Chapter 8. Uh, prove your metal. Stupid Claire! What? I it. <laughs> What? You're driving us all to sneak into the school at night? All of us? We ain't gonna make it in there. We're not stealthy. We got you, we got Shelmet, we got Esper, we got Deerling, we got Gooey, we got Samuel. I'm the only stealthy one. I mean, I'm like a tiny ninja. <laughs> I'm a small frog ninja, okay? Sure, I'm blue, but I guess I blend with the night, so yeah. <laughs> Thinking about this for some time, you know, and I've decided, well, basically, it seems like there are. An awful lot of wimpy kids around these days. I'm not one of them. Listen to him talk as if he's not just another kid himself. And topping the list is Samuel, obviously. <laughs> A certain Samuel right here. I swear to God, I should have named Charmin. That would have been hilarious. A certain Charmin right here. And cat in a cat bowl. That would be hilarious. What? Hey, I'm not wimpy. You totally are. He's totally he's totally wimpy. Okay. It's just some spooky rumors, but look at all how you're all panicking and acting scared. I don't say any words. I can't act scared. I'm a silent protagonist. And I'm not. I mean, if it's a friggin' it's blue flames. 
I have bubbles. Somehow bubbles beat flames. <laughs> but look at how you're all panicking and acting scared. That's why I decided about time you all toughen up. Go to school at night, face your fears. While we're at it, we'll find out once and for all if there are any ghosts in there. You're going to! Wait, we will! You serious, Panjam? What? You think I was just saying all that this is a joke? Or maybe... Or maybe you're just scared too! I am not! Fine! Wait, I mean, if you are, I hope you only got the guts. It's hilarious. That, that voice, like, I don't know, it's hard to do, but it's funny. But we'll get in trouble for our parents to find out if I parent with our parents if they find out about it. Sam, I don't know where his parents are, and I don't have a parent. I'm just a lonely orphaned protagonist. <laughs> all, you have to do is, all you have to do is not get caught sneaking out of your house. I don't know what that was. I just said something. And then what if we get caught afterward, huh? We just have to not get caught. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. You want to do something that you might get caught? Guess what? Don't get caught. Done. <laughs> First rule of not getting caught. Don't get caught. No more rules. <laughs> I think I'm with Panjim on this one. I want to see those ghosts myself. You're a psychic type. You're weak to ghosts. Unless they're ghastlies. Then you can uh, kind of take them on because they're poison types. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, Esper. How'd you know that? Your girl knows what matters. I'll just go ahead.